This is about defending democracy. This is no longer Democrats versus Republicans. What do you want your kids to believe in? There must be give and take. This is White Flag with Joe Walsh. Hey, the Democrats have a problem. And I, uh, I say this as someone who is not a Democrat. Um, they are divided. Let's just let's let's call it as it is. You know that I spend most of my time criticizing my former political party, the Republican Party. I have said maybe a gazillion times in the last few years that the Republican Party, my former party, is an authoritarian embracing cult. Uh, it, it, it's a party that has become radicalized. It's a party that no longer accepts basic truths. It's a party that's given up on democracy. It's a party that demonizes its political opponents. It's a party that embraces authoritarianism. It's a party that wants a dictator to rule it. I could go on and on. It's a party that wants to build a wall around America. I spend a lot of time criticizing my former party. I don't, I don't got a party right now. I'm somewhere right in the middle. I'm an independent. Democrats wake up, you got a problem. I'm going to criticize you right now. You got something you need to address. You are divided on Israel. Democratic voters are divided on Israel. Republican voters overwhelmingly support Israel. The, the, the data is clear. The statistics are clear. Every poll and survey shows this. When I was a member of Congress, it was clear to me my evangelical base is the most pro-Israel group of people in America, we can discuss, debate, and argue about why Republicans are so pro-Israel. But the fact is, the Republican Party overwhelmingly stands with Israel. The Democratic Party, no. They don't. Not so much. They're divided on Israel. The far left in America the vast majority of the far left in America doesn't like Israel, hates Israel, believes Israel is bad, okay? That's your problem, Democrats. That's not a Republican problem. That's not a MAGA problem. That's not a far right problem. That's a problem on the far left. That's part of your base, Democrats. That's part of Joe Biden's base. That's part of the, the coalition that Biden needs to beat Donald Trump. The reason I'm so darn concerned about this and worked up about this problem that the Democrats have is because I don't want Donald Trump back in the White House. And this, this is a problem, a political problem that is going to hurt Joe Biden and hurt his ability to get reelected. The far left... Many Democrats believe Israel is an occupier. Uh, Israel is the apartheid oppressor. And the Palestinians are the poor oppressed. Israel to the far left and many Democrats is like some ancient colonial empire. They are an evil occupier. Now, you, you know where I stand and you know where most Americans stand. I'm telling you where most of the far left stands. These, these people who have been protesting the Palestinian resistance, shouting from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free, all of this stuff all over the world the past 39 to 40 days, this is the far left. These aren't MAGA people protesting in support of Palestinian resistance around the Western world. These are progressives. These are socialists. These are communists. These are far left liberals. This, this is the left. That's part of the Democratic coalition. We have two parties in this country, the Democrats and the Republicans. Both parties need their, their coalitions to come out to win. And right now... We, we've opened a, a, a big old can of, of whatever you want to call it these past 39 or 40 days. 
uh, Hamas's terrorist attack against Israel and Israel's right and just response has caused a real fissure, chasm, schism in the Democratic coalition. And it's going to hurt Democrats. This is not a surprise. It's always been there. Anti-Semitism has always been there on the left. Jew hatred has always been there on the left. Israeli, Israel hatred has always been there on the left. And yeah, I can hear you shouting at me right now, but Joe, there's anti-Semitism on the right as well. Yes, there is. And I've spent a lot of time talking about it. There's anti-Semitism on the right and the left. But man, it's more pronounced. It, Israel hatred, Israel dislike is way more pronounced on the left than it is on the right. Remember, the right Republicans, the Republican base, even the MAGA base is not divided on this. They support Israel. So what's Joe Biden to do? Joe Biden's got to win in 24. Donald Trump can't win in 24. Don't know how long this war is going to last. All the reporting is uh, it make, making clear that Israel's making great progress, much better progress on the ground in Gaza than they anticipated. But this will be an issue because once Israel wins the war and Hamas is no more and they're not in control of Gaza anymore, then Gaza needs to be rebuilt. And then the whole issue of who controls Gaza, who runs Gaza, what do we do, what's Israel's role? This is going to be an issue in 2024. And it's an issue that divides the Democratic Party. And it could divide the Democratic Party to the point where it hurts Democrats in November of 24, and it hurts Joe Biden. Joe Biden's got to stay firm. He's got to stay strong and steadfast and stand with Israel. Look, he's got two options. He can give in to his far left base and start to go a little south on Israel. If he does that, man, he's losing everybody in the middle and he can't do that. Biden's only best option is to st continue to stand resolutely with Israel. By the way, it's the right thing to do. Politically, it's smart because Biden can get everybody from center left to center right as long as he stands with Israel. And what's the far left going to do come November 24? Vote for a guy like Donald Trump? Biden's in a tough spot. This issue will hurt Democrats. Biden's best play politically is to do the right thing on principle. Stand with good Israel and stand against Israel's enemies like Hamas and Hezbollah. And hope and believe that enough people on the left begin to understand this. By the way, Democrats, you better wake up. Too damn many Democrats have been quiet, right? Plenty of us uh, conservatives and former Republicans have called out the threat on our right, this authoritarian threat on our right for a while. It's about time, Democrats, that you called out this anti-Israel threat on your left. I'm Joe Walsh. Uh, former Congressman Joe Walsh, uh, my email if you want to contact me, Joe Walsh White Flag at gmail.com. One word, Joe Walsh White Flag at gmail.com. Thanks for listening. Be brave. Thank you for listening. Remember to listen, share, and follow White Flag with Joe Walsh on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and everywhere great podcasts are found. And be sure to leave a five star review. This has been White Flag with Joe Walsh.